Hey guys, I am just sharing dinner with you guys tonight because I've had some issues with my video today. I have washed one load of clothes, dried them. I have not folded them yet, but I'll just do that tonight while I'm sitting watching a video or something like that, or watching videos or something like that. Unless I have to keep fighting with this one that I'm trying to upload. But I did put on my community page that I was having difficulties. Do not know why that lately processing, which I have no control over, it happens after I upload. Like one video I never processed. This one is stuck at 99% and I'm trying to re-upload it right now. So we'll see what happens. I just don't know. But I've been having issues with that. So if I do have issues with videos, which is very rare until lately, I will let you guys know on the community tab. If something happens and one is going up late, I'll let you know there. So always check my community tab or ring the bell or whatever you gotta do to get notified to let you know if my video is gonna be late, if you really wanna see my videos <laughs> when they actually come out. So anyway, because I've been fighting with that and I did wake up this morning with um, my back not feeling that great. Well, no, it doesn't feel that great anyway. That's dumb <laughs> to say that. I shouldn't say that because I don't like people to call themselves dumb. But I didn't call myself dumb. It was said it was a dumb way to I said anyway. Stop having conversations with yourself, Kathy. Anywho's, my back was was worse than it has been the last couple of days today. So I didn't want to do much, but I did do my morning routine all of it except hand wash the things and that's all right it's okay if you can't get it all done if you're having issues but I, what i had planned on doing was coming back over here and hand washing those which it's not hard to do but i have planned on coming back over here but i've been fighting at my computer all day trying to get this thing to go up because I don't like my videos to be late. But that was Thursday's video, just in case you're wondering. And if for some reason the video seemed out of sequence, that means I went ahead and put Fridays up. Because for some reason I had already edited and uploaded Fridays on um, after I got the other one up. And it went up fine. But Thursdays was not working. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully by the time that you see this one, the other one is acting right. But I am making a sheet pan meal tonight. It may be two sheet pans. I'm not sure yet. I've got potatoes, carrots, onion, and chicken strips. And um, I was going to do the chicken strips on the stove top. But I don't feel like standing here that long. So I'm going to get y'all down here so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to chit chat while I chop. Yeah, that's what's happening. And also, I do have the baby carrots. I know Mr. Tom says not to buy them because it's a waste of money. And I agree. But right now, I'm taking shortcuts. Just because life is easier that way. I'm also using potatoes that I don't have to peel, which you don't have to peel any potato, but these have super thin peels and they are delicious. So let's get down here where you can see what's going on. Okay, so you can't see everything, but you can see what is important, I guess. Um, I have some onion left over from yesterday, possibly the day before. Yeah, the day before yesterday. So, um, I have this left over, so I'm going to use this first, which is a pretty good bit of onion, so I may not need the other one. I took another one out, just in case. So, I'm just going to, well, I was going to chop it up and then chop it in half, or slice it up and chop it in half, like that, and just kind of throw it all over the the pan. Y'all can't see the pan though very good, but I promise it's here. There is a pan with parchment paper on it. But I'm just going to throw that on the pan just 
a little bit of everywhere. No particular way, just over there. Just over there. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I washed the carrots, and I'm gonna throw them on there the same way because I'm not gonna really season those. I mean, they'll get seasoned on enough from the other things. I'll put the potatoes back in here now because I don't need them to be where they are. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is do a, a vegetable pan and a meat pan. I was gonna cook it all together, but I have got a lot of veggies here. So it's not gonna be like a traditional sheet pan meal. I don't know, I might just go ahead and throw the, um, the whatever you call those things. Some of these are quite large. I might put the chicken strips on the top of the potatoes and carrots. I don't know. I thought about doing that, but I don't know if that would be something I would want to do. I'm not chopping these in any sort of way either. I'm also going to have to fight with my sleeve, it looks like, because it wants to go down my arm. But anyway, um, whenever I ever deal with a video that's not doing right, I usually have plenty of time to fix it. But normally it's not on, like normally it's something that I need to work out with my editing software or something like that. But whenever it comes to something that YouTube has control over, which I guess it's YouTube that has control over. I don't know anything about the processing part. I don't know how to do anything to make it go faster. Um, so, I think I got too many potatoes. I've washed all these, but I'm not gonna put them all on the pan. I think this will be enough. This one right here. With the onions and carrots, I think it will. But anyway, I don't really know what to do with it since I'm gonna do one more. Just one more. We love potatoes. We are some potato loving people. I don't know what to do since I don't have control, is what I'm trying to say. So it's just gonna be what it is. Okay, so I'm using the Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse. We have fallen in love with this stuff. And I'm using the Danos original. We've fallen in love with that stuff too. We don't use it as much as we do the other. Some olive oil just to make the seasoning stick to the potatoes. I don't know how much I'm putting in this. I'm just putting some in this bowl. Now this right here has no salt or low salt in it. Um, it's a low sodium seasoning so you can add a little bit more of that than what you can of some things. So now I'm just going to toss this together, kind of get everything coated with the seasoning, and then I'm just going to put it on the pan. Okay, I think that's good. And I'm just going to put them all over and kind of toss everything together. And that's why I said I didn't have to worry about those seasonings on um, the onions and carrots because they would get on there from the potatoes. And that is a full pan right there of yummy. Now I've got to get another pan, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have here a smaller pan with parchment paper on it, and I'm going to add some of this. Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse. Y'all know we love it. And some of the Danos. I'm just going to put it on there. And then I'm going to put these on there. Now some of these don't seem to be as thawed as I wanted them to be. I don't know why they're not. But they're not. But the reason why I went ahead and put the seasoning on the, the pan 
is so I don't have to flip them and the seasoning will be there. And actually, I think I have too many chicken strips. No, I don't. Maybe not. I don't know. Jeff has to have some for work tomorrow, too. Yeah, these are... I've had these out all day. Oh, well. It's okay. It'll be fine. I'll come and, like, separate them more in a little bit. But I'm going to wash my hands real quick after I throw this away. Okay, and then I'm going to put the seasoning on the other side. Ooh, a lot came out. Um, Jeff has put my little doodad that I defrost things in back in the dishwasher again, so it's warped even more. This has got a lot of seasoning on the pan, which bugs me. So going to kind of throw this on there. Now I'm going to kind of squish that around. Alright, so on these, this is it. I'm not going to add anything else to them. Oh, that doesn't even have seasoning much on that side because of the way I did it. Give me some seasoning. But anyway, um, well, it would have helped if they would have been thawed more. That one's not even in the right shape because it's not thawed. That's all right. I'm going to put them in the oven anyway. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of butter on the potato, onion, carrot situation. I'm not going to do anything else to these. But um, I will put a little bit of butter on those. Just some little, maybe two tablespoons, maybe. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to show you what I was talking about with the butter. First, got to get some butter out, though. <laughs> I have still been keeping let me scoot y'all down the um The butter papers I've been keeping those for a while now and I put them in the freezer and I use them when I'm baking but they are really good to butter your dishes with and stuff like that all right so maybe a half a stick of butter I don't even know anymore this is I'm just winging it today this is not what I planned on doing but it's what sounded good to me once I had difficulties and once my back was not happy with me. I don't I didn't do anything to cause it to not be happy. I don't like the way that looks. It just, you know, it's not happy. So put this in the oven. I don't know how for for how long, but I got it on three fifty. Probably these well, till the potatoes are done. I don't really know how long. Okay, so it's been in there about 30 minutes. Well, actually about 25 minutes. So I'm going to take it out and check it and probably flip the chicken. Stuff like that. <laughs> um, actually, the chicken is looking pretty good. Oh, I dropped it. Yay, that's wonderful. Um. I have a thermometer in here because Jeff doesn't think the temperature's correct. It fell off. All right, I'm gonna flip this and then I'm gonna take the potatoes and stuff out and do that too. But the chicken looks like it's pretty close. Not quite, but pretty close. And these need to come apart. Come apart. And I've asked this question a couple times. But have you guys noticed that chicken is just like shreddy now? I don't really know how else to say it. Um, 
even though it shouldn't be shredding, it just shreds even when it's before, like when it's raw and thawed out. It just shreds apart. I don't know why. Jeff says it's because they're growing the chickens too fast. So, he's a pretty smart dude. I kind of think he's right. I don't know <laughs> myself, but that's what he thinks. This is about done though. This is 25 minutes. I think I'm going to give it another 10 or so minutes on this side. But I'm going to put it back in. I had this on the lowest rack because the other one's on the other rack. <laughs> Which there are three, so it's really not the lowest. It's the middle one. Alright, I'm going to squish these around a little bit. move it around some and I'm gonna check one of these potatoes to see how it is I probably should have cooked this for a little well this has been in for probably about five minutes longer than the meat but I probably should have cooked this for a little bit before putting my chicken in because this is not gonna take I mean the, the chickens not gonna take as long as the potatoes will I don't think and I did cut the potatoes pretty big I like to cut them big I don't know why it just it's just the way I, I like to do them but I'm gonna take a um, fork and check the potatoes a little bit now myself if the carrots have a little crunch to them I don't mind that or the onions but I don't want the, uh, the potatoes to have any rawness to them at all that's a no-no to me anyway now Jeff well I have to okay I'm not gonna say I have never nope not done um, Jeff will eat potatoes yeah that one's about done okay I'm gonna put this back in there yeah things are getting there they're just not there yet one of us can use this fork because this is not like raw meat or anything it's fine anyway I have myself eaten raw potato like when I'm cutting up french fries or something I haven't done it in years but I have done it before and Jeff will do it and his family does it and there's other people I've seen do it but for some reason I just don't want that whenever it's something that's seasoned but for some reason I used to eat a potato raw while I was cutting up potatoes or like a piece of a potato. I don't do it anymore though because I just don't want it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to let that finish cooking. I'd say it's been in there, the potatoes about 30 minutes, the other about 25. So I'm going to let the chicken go for another 10 or so and the other until it's done. I cut the potatoes too big really. I should have cut them smaller but that's okay. It smells delicious in here. Oh! And the video went up because I re-uploaded it. I think I told y'all that. It worked. So I just went ahead and deleted the other one. I do not know why the first one didn't work. Have no clue. But that one went up no problem. It worked out though. The video will be live in about an hour. But for you, it's a couple days ago. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, so it's been actually another 12 minutes or so, but I took everything out and everything's done. So, um, the potatoes, I checked those, they're done. Um, well, the carrots, they could use a little bit more, but like I said, I don't mind if they're a little bit, ooh, that one's trying to fall apart. Um, they could be a little underdone, I don't care, but anyway, um, yeah, that's supper. It's done and smells delicious and I've done this before so there's no reason for me to do a taste test which I don't know if I've done it with y'all but I know from personal experience that this is a good meal to my family anyway so I'm going to eat and um do Jeff a, well I'll probably make Jeff a bowl for work tomorrow make him a plate for tonight and then Noah is still not feeling very well. He's had a sore throat, so 
he's actually napping right now so I'm gonna make him a plate as well and just stick their plates in the refrigerator I'm gonna go ahead and eat unless no one wants to get up and eat too so that is all I have for today I hope you guys enjoyed this I know it was shorter I know it was just me cooking but you know what the whole month of October that was just about all I did is cook but I just wanted to get that video up and it worked I got it up so that made me happy because I don't like to not have them up on time you know whenever I say I'm gonna do something I try my best to do it and if I ever do tell you guys that I'm going to do something and I don't do it I most likely forgot so remind me <laughs> um because my memory is not what it used to be <laughs> anyway Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. I'm going to open this oven door a little bit. Let that heat into the house. Because it's chilly. Um, and I'm not talking about the food. <laughs> oh, I'm full of crazy today. Anyway, thank you for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like my channel, subscribe. Hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload. There's actually options where you can do all or some or something like that or none at all you don't have to be notified at all it's your business but <laughs> if you know someone else who might like what I do on my channel or what we do whenever Jeff is able to be here with me go ahead and share this if you don't mind but most importantly leave me a comment down below let me know how you're doing I'm doing okay um, my back has been feeling better the last few days but I have figured out like the way the best way for me to take the medication now I would love to not be taking medication at all but I just don't have that choice right now um, it's just not something I can do so I am taking the medication it's not narcotics so it doesn't bother me as much to take it like it does I just don't don't like what things like lower tab and stuff does to me it makes me sleep constantly and I don't like that so I say if you've got to do it under doctor's care and it's helping you okay but I just don't like to do it but anyway I am all over the place that's where I'm at I'm gonna eat some dinner again thank you for hanging out with me and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet